Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 7th of 2023 well, it is titled The Large Cloud of Magellan. So what do we see here? Well, this is the larger of what are known as the two Magellanic clouds uh, seen by Ferdinand Magellan as they studied the southern sky uh, in the back in the 1500s. So these are now known first they were just a cloud some kind of patch on the sky much like our own Milky Way. They are now known as gal other galaxies small galaxies outside of our own Milky Way. And the large Magellanic cloud generally classified as an irregular type galaxy because it does not have any distinct structure to it. So we note that it does not have those distinct spiral arms that are present within a large spiral galaxy like our own. And it does not have the elliptical structure of large elliptical galaxies. Those are the two main classes of large galaxies. However, these smaller galaxies are also very important. We see them as satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way. But when we look at the very earliest galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, they were small, small galaxies irregularly shaped much as we see here today. So some of these we see can be very early remnants of what things looked like very early in the history of our universe and what galaxies eventually used to build up these galaxies combining together to form the larger galaxies that we see today. Now, while it is not a spiral galaxy, it has some things that relate to that, including the great blue clusters of stars, young stars that have formed, and the pink colors of hydrogen gas excited by those stars. So we see both of those here, including the very large star forming region just above uh, and slightly to the right of the center of the image of the what is known as the Tarantula Nebula. This is a massive star forming region dwarfing those that we some of those that we see within our Milky Way and especially dwarfing the large uh, star forming region we often look at as Orion in the Orion Nebula region it is a very tiny star forming region compared to the Tarantula Nebula here in the large Magellanic cloud. The large Magellanic cloud is also known for having hosted the most recent supernova nearby supernova to us here in the Milky Way. We have not been able to see a supernova in the Milky Way since the advent of the telescope in the early 1600s. Now that doesn't mean that supernovae have not occurred in our galaxy. They most definitely have, but they've occurred in places where we could not view them from Earth. So if they occurred on the other side of the galaxy, there would not be visible. They would have to pass through too much dust to be able to get the light to get through to us here. However, this this one was occurred in 1987 known as supernova 1987a and was interesting because we had an opportunity to have studied the star before it exploded. We actually had cataloging of that star previous to its actual explosion. So we had some idea of the type of star that had then become a supernova, which helps us then to re better refine our models of how supernovae work. So here we see the large cloud of Magellan. And if you travel down south of the equator, something very easily visible in the night sky. So that was our picture of the day for September 7th of 2023. It was titled the large cloud of Magellan. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be large star factory. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.